Good morning from Austin, Texas. Bonnie is having some Terry Black's brisket for breakfast. She loves it. Her Airbnb is very nice. Should have given you a tour yesterday before we trashed the joint. <laughs> oh, good morning. I like that sign behind you. It gives you a real nice glow. Howdy. I love it. Do you like our Airbnb? It comes with built-in hats, so what's oh, it does. to love? Yeah. Yes, there are hats, because it's Austin. I'm sure Nashville does that, too. It's just... Some of that baby smacking. Oh, yeah. She's really enjoying her breakfast. <laughs> Num-nums. Easy num-nums. <laughs> Looks like Terry Black's is also the highlight of Bonnie's trip to Austin. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. We'll see. Mm. The only bad thing about this Airbnb is there are no window coverings and we're in the middle of the city. Yeah, we didn't sleep great last night. So, that sucks. Other than that, it's nice. I like big, beautiful open windows. That's awesome, but not in the bedroom. So, fix that, please. Oh, my God. Last night, <clears throat> I was getting undressed to take a shower because I was autoclaving my body because we'd been on an airplane and in a car. Oh, and like, oh, I was just <laughs> disgusting. I felt gross. <laughs> I started getting undressed and I forgot that we were in the city. And yeah. there were windows. Yeah. I was like, oh, I should probably close the blinds because everybody can see what's going on inside of this house. Because it's taking some getting used to. Day one of Keto Con. Oh, it's, I thought it was a picture. It's a video. <laughs> so far, we have got to do nothing because we're standing here at the Kimberly booth. booth. Mm -hmm. and Canberry is Canberry. Yeah, so we're just standing There's a line. Here in January doing nothing. It's okay. We're going to close it down in about an hour. Yeah. First day at KetoCon, we now have a ton of Whataburgers that we came with. We will now remove the buns. Yeah, because there wasn't a way to do that on the app. Oh my gosh. We got a lot of tomato. Wow, what is this? Let, okay, we Let won't be eating right, that, but the right. onions, yeah. This is a lot of Whataburger. You want more leche? No, I just want you to fill me up. You want more? No, I just want you to fill me up. Fill it up for later? Yeah. Okay. Have you had a good first day? Yeah. Do you go swimming? Yeah. No, I just stayed on the floor. He got to the second step, and then we started having to talk. Uh-huh. Is it good? Mm. Today is day two of KetoCon. I'm currently getting ready. Day one was kind of a blur, but I'm gonna try and take you guys through the vendors and kind of show you around today. And then we're gonna do a little work. Got my coffee, triple shot espresso with some lactose-free milk. That's not my name. I'm Heidi today, I guess. 
that's who picked up our coffee so good morning are you ready for day two i'm ready spongebob it's gonna it's be awesome. a good one <laughs> what are we doing first podcast for you yep then book signing again yep then podcast then panel then it's not a panel it's a q and a Q&A. for the vips oh okay it's yeah. just yeah. you Oh, it's just is it? You. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know why I thought it was a panel, but I looked on the schedule and it's just okay. a Q&A. Nice. That's a good story. All right. Anybody who has a question, you can raise your hand and we'll call on you. Uh, or they're in the chat. Okay, let's have the chat. Okay. She'd be like, well, yeah, okay, that's, that's fine. We'll eat that. We are now in San Antonio. KetoCon is over. You can hear how loud it is because we're with the Puerto Rican family now. <laughs> what did you think about KetoCon? I thought this was the best KetoCon yet. I did too. Yeah. We met, oh, look what Beckett did to me. We were fighting and he got me. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. We met so many people. A uh, thousand, over a thousand people that we shook hands with, took an usy, signed a book, heard their story. It was, it was one of the most, it was the most moving two days of my life, probably, to yeah. hear the awesome success stories and the the stories that are not completed yet, and the stories that have just started after they heard this speaker, or that speaker. It's really almost magical. Yeah, yeah. we met. How many people do you think we took pictures with? At a least thousand? a thousand. At least, yeah. yeah, at least. Signed books, heard stories, and we met people that we've been working with for years. Yeah. This is the worst tripod. You're, you're sitting on top of Beckett's berries. That's our tripod currently. Uh, so we met, I'd never, I, you've met Judy? No, before? never in person. We met Judy Cho, yep. Laura Spath in person, uh, Zane Griggs, who. Dr. Barry wrote a new book with. I'll link that in the description for you guys yeah. if you want that book. We've written a book together but never actually met IRL. In real life. 
We also met some of our moderators that we hadn't re yes. met in real life. That was awesome. And they, shout out, by the way, to Teresa, John, Paola, Gloria, Kim Howerton. Huzzah. Um, Thank you guys so much. Anybody that came over I don't and know helped what we man would, what the would station. What would we have done if they hadn't been um, with us? We would have been totally screwed, basically. Screwed, yeah. yeah. Screwed. So, shout out to those who helped us out. And, yeah, we met so many. I can't even name off the amount of people that we met. They were awesome, both just regular people and creators of the <clears> community <throat> and doctors. And, yeah. And so many regular people who were like... Your your advice, Nisha's advice, literally transformed my life, and I feel now compelled that I want to help people. How can I do that? Where do I start? I, I heard that so many times. Mm -hmm. It's like, what do I what do I do? I'm on Instagram. How do I help people? And I freaking love that when just regular people say, "This is important. This is big. We need to talk about this." Yeah. And we met a bunch of members of our tribe in the PhD community yes. uh, in real life. And that was really amazing to be able to put names with faces because we see you guys inside the community all the time. But I bet we met 300, 400. Oh, it was least, a lot, least, a lot yeah. of tribe members. Yeah, that was awesome. So thanks to everybody who came out. I know it's an uh, investment to go to KetoCon. I hope that it was worth your investment. That's the exact right word. Yeah, yeah. I hope that you felt it was worth the investment and maybe... We'll see you next year. Yes, absolutely. Love you, mean it.